day before Uncle shot, the bomb is lowered 17 feet into the ground to its platform. Here, for the first time, an attempt is being made to determine the feasibility of stockpiling a penetrating weapon. Shot day. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Once the flash and dust of the underground shot becomes a thing of the past, and it drifts far away from the ground zero crater, preliminary ventures are made into the area by monitors of the RADSAFE crew. crater's actual depth was 117 feet. The radius, 181 feet. The crater was 65 feet deep and 254 feet wide. For a project schooner, the yield was increased to 35 kilotons and the explosive emplaced 355 feet deep in a formation of layered rock with varying moisture content. Schooner produced a crater 208 feet deep and 852 feet in diameter. A one-tenth kiloton explosive was buried 90 feet deep in hard rock. When the explosive was detonated, the velocity of the rock movement was not enough to form a crater at all, but instead a mound of broken material. Sedan was detonated at 10 a.m. July 6, 1962. This is a view taken from the top of a 1,500-foot tower located six miles from ground zero. These sequences are being shown at about one-third normal speed. The base surge seen forming here continued to grow until it covered an area about five miles in diameter. The main cloud rose to a height of 12,000 feet above the desert floor.
This close-up view was taken from a ground station three miles from ground zero. The dome rose to a height of 290 feet before it vented at three seconds. The area covered by the base surge is clearly discernible in this aerial view by the pattern of light-colored dust. The crater is about 1,200 feet in diameter and 320 feet deep. The 100 kiloton nuclear explosion excavated more than 6 million cubic yards of Earth in a matter of seconds. A few years ago, nearly 1,400 tons of chemical explosive decapitated the submerged pinnacles of Ripple Rock that had imperiled ships using the Inland Passage northwest of Vancouver, British Columbia.